Now, while I've been in India, I've been trying out cuisines from all over the world. And I thought it would be interesting to try out the Spanish style of cooking to see if it's been adapted to suit the Indian palate. And I've ordered two representatives of Spanish cooking, the paella, or the paella as it's pronounced, and some lovely meatballs. Ooh, thank you. That's great. Lovely. Just put it there. Now this presentation of paella looks absolutely exquisite, extravagant. Normally paella is served in the dish it's prepared in. So you get these giant vats or large frying pans where everybody tucks in and tries out their paella. So I'm going to test it out now and it looks absolutely delicious. Mmm. Oh wow. It's amazing. It really is. I feel like I'm in Spain. The flavors are fresh, the vegetables and the seafood, even the potatoes are all fresh and it's delicately seasoned and there's no chili spice in this. So this is the real deal. Plenty of seafood in here, scallops, we've got prawns or shrimp and also a bit of chicken. So it's a total meal. Spanish cuisine predominantly has a lot of seafood in it. They cook with a lot of seafood. And I think this has been made with a basmati rice, an Indian rice, a long grain. Generally, Spanish cooking uses short grain rices. But it just tastes so fabulous. I'm absolutely loving this. I could eat this all day, but I'm going to move on to my meatballs now. Doesn't this look pretty? I love the little droplets of balsamic vinegar around it with a few scatterings or smatterings of green pesto sauce. That's nice. And I'm just going to try out the tangy tomato sauce. And it's got a crunch to it, a bite to it, which means the tomatoes haven't been cooked through. It's allowing you to savor the freshness of the tomatoes. And I can easily break in to the meatballs and they're lightly spiced with some fresh herbs and also I think some pepper mmm really nice succulent tender now meatballs are normally served in a tapas style of way but here you can serve it in a kind of main meal setting and that's okay too because they're so delicious you won't want to just eat a few, you want to eat the whole lot. Well, I've eaten my meatballs and my paella, and I'm quite full, but there's always room for dessert. And I've ordered the sweet Spanish representative, which is the crema catalana. Now this crema catalana looks so spectacular. I love the way the brown sugar is nicely burnt and crusty on the top, and I'm expecting a nice, soft, yellow custard at the bottom oh yes mmm it's lightly flavored with a hint of cinnamon and this is like the egg custard for Spain and you've got the creme brulee in France and they've used brown sugar for this on the top to give it that crunchy effect and it's better than brown sugar than white sugar and you can eat this also warm as well as cold or chilled, so you have a choice. I have so many Spanish delights to show you and to tempt your taste buds. These flavors are fresh and rich, and I know you're going to love them. Pancho Gramka, lemon syrup, ke pas kima? 